Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what's out there, what makes up our solar system? Let's take a quick journey to the great beyond, shall we? First stop, the sun, the center of our solar system. It's a massive ball of hot glowing gases, and it's so big you could fit a million Earths inside it. It's also our primary source of energy, giving us light and warmth. Then we have the eight planets, each with their own unique characteristics. Mercury, the smallest planet, is a little larger than Earth's moon. Venus, often called Earth's twin, is similar in size to our planet but way hotter. Mars, the red planet, is famous for its rust-colored surface. Jupiter, the largest planet, is a gas giant with a strong magnetic field. Saturn, the ringed planet, is known for its complex system of rings. Uranus and Neptune, the ice giants, are composed mainly of ices, which are mixtures of water, ammonia, and methane. Then there's our home, Earth, the only planet known to support life. It's the third planet from the sun and has one moon, which we'll get to in a minute. Apart from the planets, we have other celestial bodies like comets, asteroids, and meteoroids. Comets are icy bodies that originate from the outer regions of the solar system. When they approach the sun, they heat up and leave a trail of gas and dust. Asteroids are rocky bodies that orbit the sun, mostly in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Meteoroids are small particles that travel around the sun. When they enter Earth's atmosphere and burn up, we see them as shooting stars. We'll learn more about these three in a moment. And let's not forget about the moons or natural satellites. While Earth has one moon, other planets have many more. Jupiter, for instance, has a whopping 67 moons. Our solar system, a cosmic neighborhood, is just one small part of the universe. But isn't it fascinating to think about all the different bodies that make up our corner of space? We've only just scratched the surface, so stay tuned as we explore more about this great beyond. Ever wondered why we don't float away into space? Let's talk about the heavyweight champion of the universe, gravity. You see, there are two key players in this cosmic tug of war, mass and weight. Now, before you start groaning about math class flashbacks, let me assure you this is way more interesting. Mass is the amount of matter in an object and it stays the same whether you're on Earth, the Moon or floating around in space. Imagine, if you will, a one kilogram bag of apples. It's always going to contain the same amount of apple goodness no matter where it is in the universe. On the other hand, weight is a bit more fickle. It's the force exerted on an object due to gravity. So that same bag of apples would weigh less on the moon than it does on Earth because the moon's gravitational pull is weaker. In other words, you could say weight is the universe's way of playing favorites. Now if we're talking about gravity, we have to mention Sir Isaac Newton. Legend has it that an apple falling on his head led him to formulate the law of universal gravitation. That's right, the universe loves apples so much it made a law about them. Just kidding. Newton's law actually states that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. In simpler terms, the bigger and closer objects are, the stronger their gravitational pull. So, when you feel heavy after a big meal, don't blame the extra slice of pizza. It's just that the Earth loves you so much it's pulling you closer. And if you ever find yourself in space remember you're not weightless, you're just experiencing a different level of gravity's embrace. So, remember you're not heavy it's just the Earth's way of saying it can't let you go. Who are the real shining stars of the universe? And why do some stars only twinkle? Well folks, the cosmos is a grand theater, and the celestial bodies are its performers. Some, like stars, are the divas of the universe, belting out light and heat with their intense nuclear reactions. They're the real luminaries, the ones that light up the cosmic stage with their own radiant energy. Then there are others, the understudies if you will, who reflect the light. Planets, moons, and asteroids fall into this category. They don't emit light themselves, but borrow it from the stars. They're like mirrors reflecting the starlight back into space. It's this reflected light that allows us to see them from Earth. And what about the twinkling stars? Well, that's less about them, and more about our atmosphere. Light passing through it gets bent and swayed, causing stars to twinkle. So, in the grand stage of the cosmos, we've got both lead actors and supporting roles. Ever noticed how the moon appears different every night, or why we have seasons? It's all a part of a cosmic ballet. There's a choreography happening right above our heads and we're all invited to the show. The Earth, the Moon and the Sun are the main dancers and their positions and motions create a spectacular performance. Imagine the Sun as the center stage. The Earth, our home, is like a ballerina spinning on her axis. 
This spin is what gives us day and night. As the earth faces the sun, we experience daylight, and as it turns away we're enveloped in the darkness of the night. But the earth isn't just spinning in one place, it's also performing a grand jeté around the sun. This orbit takes about 365 days which is how we define a year. Now the Earth's axis is tilted and as it orbits the Sun different parts of the Earth receive varying amounts of sunlight. This variation is what gives us our seasons. Over to the Moon our loyal partner performing its own pirouette around the Earth. This dance takes about 28 days, causing the Moon's appearance to change in our night sky. At times it's fully lit, presenting a full Moon. Other times it's partially in shadow, giving us crescent moons and half moons. And sometimes it's completely hidden, resulting in a new moon. The dance of these celestial bodies also affects tides on Earth. When the Sun, Earth and Moon align, we get higher than average tides known as spring tides. And when they form a right angle, we get lower than average tides called neap tides. This cosmic ballet is a harmonious interplay of motions and forces choreographed by the laws of physics. It's a dance that has been ongoing for billions of years and will continue for billions more. So, the next time you see a full moon, or experience a change in season remember, it's just the universe dancing to its own rhythm. Ever wish to explore the universe? Well, some cool gadgets have beaten us to it. Space exploration is no longer the stuff of science fiction. Thanks to a host of technological marvels, we're able to venture into the cosmos without leaving the comfort of our home planet. First up are our trusty satellites. These high-tech devices orbit around the Earth, acting like our eyes in the sky. They provide us with critical data about our planet and the cosmic environment beyond. Whether it's predicting weather patterns, studying climate change, or providing us with those handy GPS directions when we're hopelessly lost, satellites are the unsung heroes of the space age. Next, we have space probes. These nifty contraptions are launched deep into space to study distant celestial bodies, they're like our cosmic postcards, sending back stunning images and invaluable data from the far reaches of our solar system. Remember the first close-up pictures of Jupiter or the rings of Saturn? You can thank space probes for those awe-inspiring snapshots. Then there are the rovers. These robotic explorers have been trundling around on the surface of Mars for years now, helping us understand more about the red planet. They analyze soil, rocks, and even the Martian atmosphere. They are like our remote-controlled geologists, tirelessly working millions of miles away. And let's not forget the telescopes. From the legendary Hubble to the incredible James Webb Space Telescope, these technological wonders have dramatically expanded our understanding of the universe. They peer deep into space, capturing images of distant galaxies, nebulae, and even black holes. They have truly brought the universe to our doorsteps. So, while we might not be able to hitch a ride to Mars just yet, our rovers and satellites are doing a pretty good job. So what have we learned from our cosmic journey? Well, we've taken a grand tour of our solar system. From the fiery heart of the sun, to the icy reaches of comets and asteroids, we've seen how Earth, along with its planetary siblings, orbits in this vast expanse, each with their unique characteristics. We've touched upon the moons, those loyal companions of planets, and the wayward travelers of the cosmos, the comets, asteroids, and meteoroids. We've delved into the weighty subject of mass and weight and how gravity plays a crucial role in the cosmic dance. It's the force that keeps our feet on the ground, the Earth in orbit around the Sun, and even brings shooting stars to our night sky. Speaking of light, we've learned that not all that glitters in the night sky is a star. Some are galaxies while others are planets reflecting the borrowed light of the Sun. The universe is a veritable light show, with each celestial body playing its part. We've also examined the intricate ballet of Earth, Moon and Sun. Their relative positions and motions give us day and night, phases of the Moon and the seasons. We've realized that there's a lot more to the daily rise and set of the Sun than meets the eye. We've peeked into the world of space exploration, seeing how technologies from telescopes to space probes have expanded our cosmic horizons. We've learned how these innovations have not just changed our view of the universe but also our place in it. In short, we've journeyed through space and time, learning about the universe and our role within it. This journey has shown us that while the universe is vast and we are small, our curiosity and thirst for knowledge are limitless. As we continue to explore and understand the universe, remember, we're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. But hey, even a speck can dream big, right?